Alright guys, this is an update on the uh, 01 Dakota. Uh, we're getting ready to lift it out here. I've got it supported here with the uh, cherry picker and uh, seat belts. As you can see, I use seat belts. Uh, seat belts, I uh, think they work better than chain because if you don't have the chain, well not better, but uh, they're a little bit easier to uh, work with because sometimes you just don't have the, the eye loops or, or the eye holes for the uh, chain to hook on to or you, know, you don't want to uh, sit there and try to figure out uh, all the different places where you can do it. So what I'd usually do is I either I hook it, I hook and loop it through the uh, exhaust manifold, tie it up, uh, put one on each side and lift like that. It's coming up here. Um, we took the uh, motor mounts loose and then they just they just they're notched out here so they slide right up um, but this this piece that's welded on is uh, part of the uh, uh, frame and it may or may not get in the way uh, I don't know yet but uh, if it gives us any trouble we'll just go ahead and unhook the motor mount uh, completely from the block there uh, power steering pump off and out of the way uh, all the wiring and electrical basically sitting there off and out of the way uh, also <coughs> the uh, coolant line it's free I just left it in there so there's no debris that gets in there so as we're getting ready to lift out we'll, we'll put that off and out of the way uh, all the front end bumper radiator trans cooler AC condenser uh, hood I thought I was going to be able to pull this uh, motor without taking off the hood but uh, that wasn't the case so uh, we just went ahead and pulled it to save time and uh, relieve a little bit of stress so you don't have to sit there and deal with damaging the hood also took down the uh, the transmission uh, the transmission support mount and I've got it up on the jack there what we're going to do is let the jack down let that get an angle on it uh, and uh, try to pick up the engine and transmission and pull out in one, in one shot. Uh, of course, uh, we'll see how that goes and I'm just going to take it one step at a time. And that's all you can do, you know, when you... I haven't uh, necessarily worked on this exact uh, uh, truck before and uh, not a motor job anyway. I've, I've done little things to them, but uh, not a motor job. But uh, like I said, we'll, we'll keep you updated and, and uh, whatever gets in our way, we're going to get it out of our way. So. There it is, update number two.